Batch, batch, batch. It's really all you hear the networking folks ramble on about nowadays. Uh, almost like they're trying to tell you something. My name is Cole McCandless, and well, the truth is, they are. <laughs> we all know that networking is the biggest offender when it comes to battery drain on mobile devices. I mean, consider the cellular radio in any of your phones. After a request, it'll still wait around for about an extra 20 to 60 seconds, keeping the chip awake, drawing power, just in case a server response comes in. If nothing comes in, only then will it go back to sleep. And in the super worst case scenario, your app can end up in a position where each one of its network requests wakes up the cell radio and pays the cost to keep it awake over time. Batching is the ideal way to coalesce these requests together, so you only have to pay the wake up and keep alive penalties once. But the big question here is, how do you go about actually doing batching? Well, first understand that any requests that are generated as a result of a user action generally need to be handled right now. Uh, everything else, though, is completely fair game. Uh, basically, if there's even a slight chance that delaying a request won't cause the user to throw their phone out the window, then you should be considering it. Now, from a code perspective, the easiest way to implement batching is to basically intercept any outbound requests and rather than executing them immediately, store them in a pending list of actions to be made in the future. Uh, this can be simple as a uh, queue object or as complex as a content provider for uh, serializing them to disk in case you're worried about them getting lost when the app is terminated. But here's the tricky part. How do we know when to send these pending requests? Well, uh, you could just wait until some threshold has been reached, like uh, 10 requests or something, and then purge your list, waking up the radio and sending out the data, which is a completely fine way to approach the problem. But the truth is that the system is doing a ton of other things in the background, and chances are that before your threshold is reached, the cellular radio will be turned on in order to complete some other task. Therefore, it makes a lot of sense to try and piggyback these operations when they happen. Uh, basically, you can set up this code to give your a callback anytime the networking hardware has been fired up. When this happens, go ahead and purge your pending queue. But uh, things might get a little bit more complex than that. So uh, what if you want to wait until you're on Wi-Fi or plugged into a power source or something crazy like you want to wait until the user isn't riding a bike or in a car anymore? This is exactly why you need to use GCM Network Manager. Uh, this is a Google Play Services API which helps to schedule network-oriented tasks and handle batching for you. This greatly simplifies the implementation of common patterns such as uh, waiting for network connectivity, network retries, and back off. Basically, all the good stuff you need with one single helpful API. Now, if you don't know what your request profile looks like or you're in a bad spot, check out the networking monitor tool inside of Android Studio. Uh, this tool will help you see how often inbound and outbound requests happen and the size of each request. Batching is one of the fundamental techniques that can improve your application performance for users, but it's not the only networking technique you need to know, which is why you need to check out the rest of the Android Performance Patterns content, and don't forget to join the Google Plus community as well. So keep calm, profile your code, and always remember, perf matters.